Well, fourth and fifth graders, we're gonna keep working on these optical illusions of concave and convex line. Um, the first thing I would like you to do is to finish up any marker. I've pretty much completed that, but if you have any lines that you missed, then please finish outlining them. If I make a little mistake, I can just make that line a little bit wider. Um, so once you trace everything out, then I would like you to do a little bit of erasing can see any pencil lines still please erase that and then after that I'm gonna start with a warm color so that could be orange it could be pink yellow red you can see that I've started using this pink now when I was coloring mine I actually made a mistake because I wasn't paying attention to the pattern I'll move this one over so you can see what this one looks like ahead of time. Um, with the way that this is colored, these look kind of like cone shapes. So this whole cone right here is gonna be a pattern of warm, well, like we're gonna just do color it, skip it, color it, skip it, color it. Now you'll notice that this one is orange. This one's not, this one's purple. So it's really doing this cone and then skip this one, color this cone, skip this one, color this one with orange, skip this one, color this one with orange, skip this one. What I ended up doing to make my mistake is I colored these ones instead of purple, I colored those ones um, orange in my mistake and then I'm making a second video. Um, so let's do it correctly so the illusion looks 3D. So here you can see that I've got color at skip, color at skip, so this one's gonna be color. And often it's helpful to just mark it before I color it. Now this whole one right here is gonna be skipped because it's gonna end up being my cool color. So this one you can see I've got color, skip, color, skip, and then I'm just gonna mark this one. This whole cone, this triangular shape, that one's gonna be skipped. So this one, I'm gonna color it, skip it, color it, skip it. This little corner is gonna be colored. This cone shape is gonna be skipped. This one's the one that has the pink and white. So it's color, skip, color, skip, color. So please just mark them lightly because you can always erase them. This one's a, a skip because that's gonna be my cool colors. This one is um, color, skip, color, skip. This one's color. So I'm just putting a really light mark on them so I know which ones to color. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up having to erase them and to change them. Now, once you color, once you mark them, outline those edges hard and then shade it in. And most of these I am pressing on pretty hard. These ones already have a mix, that's why they look like that. So here, pressing that on harder around those edges, staying inside the lines. And I'm even pressing the color on pretty hard, maybe slightly lighter, but for the most part, pressing it on hard. Let's find another one that I marked. I marked this one over here. So outline those edges. Try to color it all pretty uniform. Me, I'm going the same way when I'm coloring it. I wouldn't color it all different ways because then it's gonna look a little bit messy. So maybe just around those edges, I would do that to stay inside the line, but for the most part, coloring all the same way. Then, let's see, this one's and that one's needing to be colored here. Now, once you have the warm one's done. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm done here so that this example goes a little bit faster. This one needs to be colored more, but we'll get around those edges a little bit better in a minute. And then this one would be one that's colored, okay? When I do the cool colors, I'm going to end up following a similar pattern, but there's something that's a little bit different about it, so I want you to pay close attention. So we're just gonna pretend that I filled that one all the way in, okay? 
these ones, I'm gonna pick a cool color. And so my cool color that I'm gonna do for this one is gonna be blue. Now, I said this one was the pink and white one. This one's blue and white. So this one's not gonna be blue. So if this one's colored, this one's not. It's really this one right here. So I'm just gonna mark that, then it's skip it. This one's gonna be blue. I skip it, then this one's gonna be blue. So this is blue and white, pink and white. What is this one gonna be? That one's blue and white. So if this one's pink, do I color that one? New no way. So that one has to stay white. That's part of what makes the illusion work. So it's blue, white, this one's gonna be blue. So just mark it lightly, check it before you color it. Now this one's blue and white, this one's pink and white. So this one's gonna be blue and white. If that one's white, this one's gonna be blue, white, blue, white. It always pays off to just check it before you color it, okay? Now, this is my last one. It's gonna be, this one's pink, that one's white, so this one's gonna be my blue one. Skip it, blue, okay? And even this little corner here. Once I get those all done, then I'm going to um, start to outline these and do the same idea. Stay inside those lines and to fill these in really carefully. Now, we are gonna work on these again next time, so please do not rush through this. I'm gonna show you a couple extra things that can be done next week to make them look more 3D. So take your time coloring this in. If for some reason you get these all colored in really carefully, I'll show one little example because I do want you to have more work time. So once I have all these blue ones done, then what I would do is I would get, go back to my warm colors because we would mix the warm ones before I'm gonna mix on the cool ones. So let's just pretend I did all the blue ones. And then I would do this. Where I had this pink, I'm gonna take a one that's a little bit of a darker pink and I did this on these ones already. I would outline these edges. I made a little mistake here. I would outline these edges and go slower than I did so I don't make a mistake. And if that edge is a little bit darker, I can put these little curved lines in here. I'm trying to follow the same line as like what's right here. It'll make it look a little bit more 3D. Okay, so that's extra to start your mix. And I would just do the, the purple ones. We'll talk about mixing the other ones next time. Okay, I'm noticing I pressed the other one on a little bit too hard. So I think I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. And part of that might mean coming back with this pink and blending it in a little more evenly. So that darker pink isn't so dark. Okay, so keep in mind, we will be working more on these next time. We don't need to get them all finished. The main thing is, is to get the pattern worked out um, and hopefully have all the warm ones done. And some of the cool ones we will finish up with the other ones next time. So let's have fun.